What what is pi? Well, in in the uh, previous videos, we we said that um, if you get the circumference, which is a distance around a circle, and then divided by divided by this distance here, which is two r, uh, then it's always going to give you that special number pi. And then I, I would ask you to um, to visualize this as uh, as two part two r being in a bubble, and then times the bubble to both sides. So this this would be c. This would be uh, two pi r. And then th this is a really important uh, formula. Um, try and remember this by by heart. So so from this formula here, if if, something, if, if you're given a circle, let's say three centimeters, um, three centimeters. From here, you can actually work. You can actually work out the. Uh, you can jump to the circumference. You can work out the the circumference of this circle here just by just by using this formula. So so this you know is r. So you put it into the into the r here, okay. So so c equals two times pi times r, which is three, okay. Um, and then and then we we can merge these two together because they're all multiplying with each other. So that would be six pi. So the circumference here is six pi. You you can't just leave it six pi. If you really want to know, you can get a calculator and and uh, and just get six times. Uh, press that button pi and then press equal. And then that that will give you that will give you an, an a number, okay? But but with me, you you can just leave as c equals six pi, okay? So the distance around here is six pi. Just leave it as six pi. If you want really want to know the answer, then jump to a calculator and type type in six times uh, that button there pi on on your calculator, and then that will give you blah 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 blah. Okay, and remember, pi is just uh, it's just a number, three point one four one, and it's really long. So rather than having to type this long number again and again, just just use the symbol pi when you're writing on the calculator. Press press this button, pi. Basically, pi is this number here. Okay, now let's let's look at this here. A, a given circle, uh, c equals two pi r. This has to be buried inside your brain. Okay. Um, so if if you're so it's, so like um, if if you're given oh a circle has a circumference of say um, of say 100 centimeters, what is the radius? W work out the work out the, this distance here. Work out the radius. Well, you you can use the same formula here. Last time I I gave you a circle and then I would give you I would give you the uh, the radius. And then from the radius, you can you can jump to the uh, to the circ circumference. Now we are working the other way around. I'm giving you the circumference. You have to jump from the circumference to um, to the radius. Okay. So same thing. Use use this same use 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 this uh, this formula here. So C. You know what C is now. C is uh, 100. So um, so put the 100 into the C. Forget about the centimeters because um, you see why later on. Um, so uh, so this this will be one hundred, okay? Uh, two pi. Remember, pi is really three point one four one blah 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 blah. But just just leave us that. R. You don't know what R is in this case. We are working backwards now. So so we are giving we are given the circumference. We we've got to work out the radius. So we we know the circumference, so so we would put it into the C. That's why the hundred is there, and then and now divide. So so now imagine this as being one bubble times another bubble here. So divide both sides by this bubble here, which is uh, two pi. So um, so take the one hundred down, divided by two pi equals r. Okay, uh, and now now in effect you've got a fraction here. Um, you've 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 got even number here, even number here. So so you can actually divide top and bottom by the same number. I'm going to divide top and bottom by two. Okay. So um, so so here, 100 divided by two is 50. And then you know you know two times pi equals two pi. Well, if if you have two pi. 2 pi, and then you divide it by 2, that gives you pi. Okay, it, it, it base yeah, so 2 pi divided by, because 2 times pi is 2 pi, so, 
So 2 pi divided by 2 is pi. So, so the radius is 50 over pi. Okay. With me, you, you can just leave as this. But if you really want to know the answer, then on, on your calculator, hang on, let me bring it up. So, so on, on, on a calculator, you, you can, you, you can just punch in, um, you punch in 50 divided by pi. That will give you the radius. So that would be roughly six, just roughly, okay, it's actually 15.99 blah 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 blah. But, uh, just, just, just say it's, uh, it's, um, it's what? It's, uh, 16. Okay, just, just say 16. Uh, so, so r equals 16. Um, so because we are working centimeters, then the answer will be centimeters. Okay, so, so the radius, the radius of this circle here, if, if this circle has a, a circumference of 100 centimeters, then the radius must be around about 16 centimeters. Okay? So, so from, from this formula here, c equals 2 pi r, um, if, if you're given the, uh, the circumference, which is the distance around here, then, then put that circumference into the c, and then, and then, and then rearrange it so that r is on its own, equals blah 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 over here. So it's saying the radius is this thing here. Okay?